Howdy. Welcome on in, everyone. Welcome on in. My name is King Necros, and today I apologize for the tardiness, but things happen with Assassin's Creed. Let us see. Uh, long story short, for some reason, flop files got wonky. Things were not loading properly, so yeah. We're just going to do something else for tonight. <clears throat> Spent a good amount of time before before I actually started streaming trying to figure out what the fuck to do with it. And then when I just said, no, screw it, I'll do this later. Well, that's when I settled on something I've been getting back into. So, here we are with uh, Ace Combat 7. So, for those of you who do not know, it is a military flight simulator game set in a not-so-distant future. Well, technically, the game takes place in what it considers 2019, although we didn't have that stuff in 2019. Most, well, most of it, anyways. <laughs> but it basically, it's kind of uh, going over the whole humans versus robots as, as a... Uh, Machines start to take over more in the military complex and so on, so on, so forth. But, nah, you're not here for that. You're here for, well, I suppose you could be here for that. But, either way, I'm just kind of here to just fly around at breakneck speed, listen to Kenny Longs and shit like that, and, uh, well, have fun. So, that's what we're going to do. Now, then. I'm over here. I'm over here. All right, now then, let's go. First off, do 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 do. Where did it go? There. All right, game capture. Do your thing. Capture. Game. Game or capture. Either or. Okay, fine. If you're not going to capture that, let's do this. There we go. It is perfecto. Although it could go with some scale and dip down. Because for some reason it was huge. Then ask me why. I have no idea how this works. <laughs> All right, anyways, time for the other playlist. I looked up and I looked up a playlist of my of a uh, in the vein of what I would like to listen to while playing this game. So here we go. This is somewhere along the lines of what you would. Well, I don't know. Call it just have fun, joy, listen, stuff, words. Now. All right, let's just make sure everything is set up to the danger zone. Into the danger zone. sure everything is set up uh, yeah looks like everything's set all right uh oh okay there that's working all right now let's get to it <coughs> Wait, actually, uh, let's go ahead and fix audio real quick, because there's one thing I do not like about this game. 
is that you can't adjust most of these settings from in-game. Like, even audio, I can't fix that. Do you about here. Also, this game is relatively quiet compared to uh, other flight simulators I've tried. So, we're going to be restarting the story. Directors and all items you have obtained will be saved. Okie doke. Danger zone. Hard. A hard difficulty level. For those who want a bit more than the usual challenge. Note, the difficulty cannot be changed partway through. Well, I'm fine with that. Got pretty damn far in with hard mode. Does the color of the sky mean anything special to you? Not really. It's to me, a hell of a lot. When I close my eyes, the sky in my dreams is a deep, dark blue. Hmm. The light it burns. My for four People look away. Lines in my DNA. We're not here for Even looking so at the sun. My grandpa didn't want me joining the Air Force. He lost faith in the Ocean Air Defense the day my dad died in battle. No, Abby. I wish you could see what it's like up there. Cruising <sighs> above the clouds, the dark blue of the stratosphere. Nothing beats the controls and seeing it from the cockpit. Look here. Um, da -da 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 Pilots taking to the skies will soon be a distant memory. I don't see anything good coming from that. Nope. Know what? Lying smack dab in the middle of the desert west of here, there's a bunch of planes from the last war. Some of them have been mothballed, but most of them are just rusted piles of junk waiting to be scrapped. Gramps was really good friends with the super there, so he got to take whatever he wanted, no questions asked. That's how we got the parts to build our own plane. Now, when I say we, I mean me, my grandpa, and his old war buddies. I cut my teeth working with those geezers. They taught me their skills. Nice. Some dirty jokes. But with their aging eyeballs and whatnot, I ended up having to do most of the work myself. As is tradition. I was at the airstrip doing some flight training when I saw it. A prototype drone. It wasn't much of a plane, more of a trash can with wings. Laugh at it all you want, kid. But technology's always changing. If you don't keep up with it, it'll leave your ass behind. It took six years and eight months to get that engine running. And it took us another year and a half after that to finally get the balance of the airframe just right. I'd gone from being a little girl to, well, still a girl, just older. But now, I was <sighs> wherever the souls of my Gramps and his pals are flying, I hope it's peaceful. Hell yeah. Then again, I would imagine that they're the kind of people who would enjoy it being not so peaceful. I was ready to break the sound barrier. If they're milita ex military pilots. They probably wouldn't mind a bit of chaos. Granted, that's not everyone who's ex-military. I don't even know what ratio would be wanting peace and what ratio would not want peace. beyond I could almost touch it then I saw Osius fighters they were tailing something a drone they were going full out chasing that thing it took 30 G's at least Damn, I've never seen anything move that fast it had a rose painted on it 
Oh, lovely. Just immediately light up a plane that looks terrible. Well, not terrible, but I have no idea what the hell to deal, deal with it. You have all been instrumental in helping to maintain peace in Yuzha as members of the International Union Peacekeeping Force. Until today. Earlier. Our radar site informed us that a group of unidentified aircraft was approaching. Communication systems went down immediately afterwards. We are led to conclude that they have attacked the site. Here's your mission. It's possible that the Yuzhin ceasefire agreement has been broken for the first time in over a decade. As of today, the Fort Gray's Air Base Squadron of the IUPF has been put on high alert. All members who have been ordered to sortie, fly there immediately. Find the unidentified craft, then use your weapons to round them up and force them to land. If the hostiles counterattack, then you will... What the hell was that? There's smoke! We're under attack. Numerous unidentified aircraft confirmed overhead. How is that possible? The tank farm to the north has been bombed. Many injured. Scramble, all units, take off and eliminate the unidentified craft attacking the base. This is not a drill. Yep. Fifteenth of May, twenty nineteen. Pretty sure that's not the right time. But it's a bummer. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah. Highly durable fighter, blah blah blah, blah 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 blah. Hmm, interesting. No, let's go with this one. Black parts, life of bliss, new rudder actuators, superior maneuverability, automated fire extinguisher, Queen's Custom, directional proximity fuse. Hmm. <laughs> okay, that's what it does. Alrighty. Sorte. Sorty. And here we go. Preparations complete. Stand by at the front. Let's head on out, William. By the way, for anyone who is watching, how's the audio? Anything sound all right? Or anything sound bad, everything so weak. Or what all's bad.
Wait, hang on, give me just a second. I gotta check something real quick on the playlist. Okay, I gotta check that back on. But other than that, we are solid. Now, there we go. Okay, clearly I'm going to have to lower up music again. Thought it wouldn't be this quiet, the game that is, but nope. Sure would be nice This I had the ability to boost the audio on this game. Beyond what it already is. But I don't really know how to right now. Come on. change the I guess that's select what used to be select change ra adjust radar range to locate enemy then approach and destroy it wait a second oh never mind Ooh, interesting. Way over oh, there's only one. Wait. Three, one, two, three. Do, 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 do. Oh, you boys are in for a mess, bro. And there we go. Mage two. Mage two. Targets in range. Pair of bombers. Trigger, stay calm. You got this. I know the kid's showing some promise, but let's remember he's still barely gotten his feet wet. Hello there. Trigger, don't forget your special weapon locked. I have not forgotten. There we go. Nice going, Mage Two. Not too shabby, Mage Two. But you still got a long way to go, kid. I'll give you some pointers back at base if you can make it in one piece. Skykeeper, this is Mage One over. Tally two bandits. Copy that. It's a bomber and an escort. Oh, their trigger settled down. Mage Two, maintain your element with Mage what? One. Okay. Mage One, make Look, sure you're ready. Range of the radar. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Take him out. Yeah, alrighty. Taking a MIG out. And one more MIG. 21. Wait, what? Oh. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Get it just a little bit level. There you go. Let's pop it off.
Come here, you. There we go. That's another one gone, and another one gone, another one by the dust. Hey, gonna get you two. And another one by the dust. Down, 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 down. Da -dun 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 -dun. I'll see you. Coming on over. Oh, gotta take him out. One more time, baby. God damn, you've got a lot of durability. What the hell's going on here? Oh, fuck. Okay, it's good. Uh, hang on. Let me go ahead and minimize that window now that it's done the flashy thing where it also freezes. And away we go. <laughs> I love how the the new city is called ENN for the, the country of Arugia. I just kind of like that. Alright, I completely forgot that this is like... I don't know. Shows off the whole thing. The hell's that sound? We are currently assessing the damage to the base. We have confirmed that the aircraft carrier Albatross oh. was sunk. We know the attacking bogies were from Arusha. International Union peacekeeping force bases all over the Yuzhin continent were attacked in the same way. The damage is severe. Yeah, yeah, sure they were. Lost by failing to recover from the opening blows. That means successfully retaliating was very important. You may have turned the tides of battle here. You have our thanks. Mm-hmm. I'll take that. Next mission, go ahead. As of 1 p.m. today, the Kingdom of Arugia has declared war on the Ocean Federation. 
As soon as the news broke out, enemy aircraft began bombing Ocean territory, causing widespread destruction. The Air Defense Force has released a statement saying this violent attack was carried out by drones. They speculate the drones were secretly transported to Osea in shipping containers and launched remotely. The Secretary of the Navy has stated that the enemy was targeting naval ports mm. across the country. According to the Secretary, all of the nation's aircraft carriers, including one still under construction, sustained severe damage in the attacks. We have yet to hear back from the department as to the fate of Ocean carriers currently at sea. Hold on. I've just received breaking news. The International Space Elevator, which is being built in southern Yuzha, has been seized by the Erujian Army. Reports say former President Harling was touring the site at the time, but his current whereabouts are unknown. Our sources in government tell us it was Harling's policies regarding the space elevator that caused economic frictions in the area, and which ultimately led to this war. Located near Erujia, on the continent of Yuzha, the space elevator has been under construction for some time now. The Executive Office mm -hmm. of the Ocean Federation has declared a national state of emergency. They have ordered all its armed forces, including Yuzhan peacekeepers, to mobilize and make the necessary preparations to launch an immediate counterattack. Ladies and gentlemen, our country is officially at war. Stay tuned for further updates. Breaking news from ENN. <laughs> God damn it. launched an attack on the capital today, striking Farbanti from their aircraft carrier, the Kestrel II. After a brutal battle, the Erujian Air Force successfully repelled them. I don't know why it tickles me so much that ENN reminds me very much of CNN. ...to shoot down a number of Erujian fighters. Some of the disabled planes then crashed into residential areas. Hang on, wait a second. I gotta look up the CNN logo now, because that kind of looked like it was just this... The ENN logo looked like it was just a CNN with an extra red line. Refugees swarmed the Illusion Republic, the biggest country on the continent, plunging it into chaos. Oh. Desperate and Never mind. Forward. It is a very different logo. Winning. That's the war my dad fought and died in. The biggest nations from two continents went head to head, and the so called righteous Oceans struck the deal that ended it. They fancied themselves the only nation that could bring peace and stability to the world. They even tried saving the Yuzhans, still suffering from the disaster. That's how a space mm. elevator, stretching way up into the sky, ended up being built in Yuzha. Paid for by the Oceans. President Harling said he did it out of compassion for his fellow humans. But to the folks in Arusia, it looked like Osea was moving in to take over. Yeah, it looks like it's more or less been the same for since the 80s. Republic, back to being a kingdom. So yeah, it's not, not even tied to an older one. To get the drop on everyone. The second the declaration hit the news, Erujian forces took control of the space elevator without spilling a single drop of blood. President Harling was touring the elevator when it happened and disappeared. Then, while that was going on, the Erujian ships that were docked all around Osea released a swarm of drone fighters they had hidden on board in containers. No one thought they were capable of doing what they did that day. With pinpoint accuracy, they managed to take out everything that was military. And not a single civilian was hurt in the process. Osea pissed lots of people off with their huge military presence around the world. Erujia didn't have the same reach, but they could hit their targets faster and cleaner. And when all this was going down, I just so happened to be in my flying drag racer. Hmm. In case you were wondering, yeah, I survived. Well, I would hope so, otherwise that would make this narration a bit weird. Got arrested for breaking wartime aviation laws or some crap. The world went from being at peace to being at war, all in the blink of an eye. I was tried, found guilty, and stuffed into a cargo ship. 
For company, I had some court-martialed soldiers. And remember those mothballed planes I told you about before? They were loaded on the ship too. Lovely. We headed off down south for several days and then swung east. That's how I got here. Hmm. I was thousands of kilometers from Arusia on the opposite side of the Yuzian continent. For a port, it was dull as hell. It had three rusty patrol boats and the base. The fences were topped with razor wire. The tower had a searchlight and machine guns and a truck with a gun turret was parked in front of the gate. Its gun was aimed at the yard. This was a prison. This place looked like a full-on base, but half the tanker trucks were just big balloons, and the runways weren't even paved, just painted on the dirt. Hey, nice, they're using an old World War II tactic. Big, fat lie. The only reason I was here is because they knew I'd restored a supersonic plane. They wanted me to make something out of the mothballed planes they brought that they could park on the fake runway. Can you believe that shit? So, I tried to escape. <laughs> they found out and set the dogs on me. But yeah, basically, uh, I haven't been really been watching the cutscenes while I've been playing the game, so I don't know the whole what the hell is going on. I've just been going in, doing whatever. Made a declaration to the Ocean Federation and all countries on the Yuzhen continent stationing the IUN peacekeeping force that we are now at war. Right after the declaration was made, surprise attacks began around the continent that have inflicted major damage to our armed forces. Forces aligned with Arusia are currently appearing throughout Yuzhia. The combination of these forces has overwhelmed the majority of the continent, and they are now encroaching on us in the east. Additionally, the multinational space elevator has been seized by the Arusian military. After the previous war, the space elevator became both a symbol of peace and a valuable asset in the fight against growing energy concerns. Whoever has control of it will have enormous influence over the entire continent. We cannot turn a blind eye to this critical situation. The Fort Gray's Air Base Squadron has been entered into the order of battle to reclaim the elevator as an advance element. First, you will attack all hostiles coming in the east of Schofield Plateau to stop any interference with the Allied ground troops. The enemy has deployed several vehicles equipped with anti-air radar along the roads. You are to destroy them. They should not pose much of a threat. However, there is a high likelihood that the attack will draw more enemy air support. If that happens, fight them off swiftly and establish air superiority. All right, let's, well, that's kind of a lot of uh, ground targets. Anyways, uh, basically what they were doing was a old World War II, a tactic from World War II. Pretty sure it probably was used, it, well, I don't know if it was pretty sure, but it may have been used before World War II. Basically, when they were setting up the whole D-Day thing, they were uh, making decoy stuff uh, off of certain, I forget where it was exactly. But at certain areas along the English Channel uh, that were made to look like decoy bases, they had inflatable tanks and vehicles and what the hell ever you want to call it. And a whole bunch of uh, other buildings that were basically just thrown up like ramshackle stuff, just painted to look like they were real and so on. And it worked, surprisingly. Well, not surprisingly. When you're trying to view stuff from the air, it kind of... Unless you're right, like right next to it or right on top of it, it tends to look real. Let's see here. How much cash do I have? I need more. Fuck. All right. Well then, let's go. Do 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 do
I've only used this one for one mission offline, so now I want to see how it works. Now granted, if you're looking at it, you may recognize what it's supposed to be a bit. SR, it looks an awful lot like an SR-71 Blackbird, it looks like. Do -do -do -do. Special missile load limit. Special mis nah, I don't need to do that one. Missile homing capabilities. Boy, I cannot see his shit. Good news is I'm going fast as fuck, boy. I'm a Detroit rock steady. Gonna leave your seat, get down, everybody. Gonna leave your seat. Oh. Ain't gonna hit me. Watch out, the enemy has a lock on you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Target has been destroyed. 
Got him. Gotcha. All right, who's next? Be on my way, what's up? When you are done. All right, this base is worth destroying. Target has been destroyed. Five targets remain. No more. The fortune. Say, carry on my way, you are done. The beast when you are done. Shred the radar network. You rest. Cry no more. Come on. Oh, lovely. Carry on my way, wood sun. There'll be peace when you are done. Lay her very head to rest. Don't you cry, don't you cry, no. Oh.
that doesn't change a thing. Just think of them as somewhat clever decoys. Take them all down. These drones have great agility. All aircraft. You know when IG turns are right, use them. Oh, hell yeah. Go on, turn about. Enemy clouds. Shit! I got an enemy in front of me and behind me. I must stop. They have a lot of you shake them. Come back. Missed. Missile. Missile. Evade. Missile. Where are you? There. He escaped into the clouds. I'm on this one's tail. Gotcha. I'll buy a dinner for anyone who takes down an enemy. There's a bar I want to try. You're doing good. <laughs> Just two more. I'm getting that free dinner. Got him. Let's get through this without any casualties. Missile away. And Vaughn, turn about. Where are you? Where they are. Come on. Got you now, you bastard. And he's dead. Enemy aircraft confirmed down. The skies are clear. Nice work, everyone. Mission complete. RTP. No casualties. We couldn't have done any better. Returning to base. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe the bandits we took down cost civilian casualties. That's how war is these days. You shoot, someone gets killed. <laughs> the guys in charge take care of the rest. <laughs> I hate that it can just be boiled down to that. You've given us air superiority by destroying their radar. The first barrier keeping us from retaking the space elevator is gone. Now is the time to group up and begin the counteroffensive. Let us reclaim mm -hmm. what is ours. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Do -do. The struck. Particularly hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say yeah. It's all right. Yeah. 
Two and five. Yeah, it's all right. We are two and five, four, five, thunderstruck. Thunderstruck. Also managed to escape Gandar Bay safely. Thunderstruck. However, it lost all its aircraft, mm -hmm. so it's sailing empty. Mm -hmm. Today, mm -hmm. the International mm -hmm. Union Peacekeeping Force reclaims its bid to the space elevator. Mm -hmm. The Fort Gray's Island Air Base Squadron will mm -hmm. rendezvous with the carrier Vulture for a joint mission. Mm -hmm. The first objective will be for the support squadrons. The enemy maintains air superiority over Choppenburg, so expect heavy resistance from enemy aircraft. There's more, so listen carefully. Right from the start of the war, the enemy has been deploying drones. They're using a new advanced type of drone. The unmanned airborne aircraft carrier, the Arsenalberg, carries this new drone, MQ-101. The Ocean Army headed... Hang on, I'm going to do this real quick with the game audio. I'm going to go ahead and give it some gain. Yep. About 15, what does that, what will that do? All right, let's try element of the massive arsenal birds and dispatched them to the space elevator to provide Pretty good. support. However, it's been reported that the carriers may have fallen into the hands of the Erujian forces. If that's true, it could be a significant obstacle for us. We need to regain control of the space elevator ASAP. Good luck out there. All right. Just did a bit of an audio comparison with the live stream, and sounds good. All right. All right, got a lot of targets in the air. My peace of mind. Wait, how much cash do I have? 740. That is not a lot. Mm hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. And quad missiles. Wait. Okay, I don't know what the Q stands for then. Surface anti air high spec laser capable of firing continuously. Speed means that if fired accurately, it cannot be evaded. Not bad. Hmm. Oh, these are all for multiplayer. 
laser system, self-forging fragment, so munitions, air to air missiles, six targets, hmm. <laughs> high speed, the mechanism is there, makes my deal for Prize of text. Not bad. Hmm. Homing bombs. I can lock onto four targets at a time. Air to air missiles. Yeah, I don't know where I want to go with this. Mm -hmm. way to the danger zone. Hide into the danger zone. Ah. Da -da 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 Mission. We're gonna switch off of the SR-71 Blackbird cheap knockoff. Well, not cheap that knockoff. Probably, yeah, whatever. Lightweight fire. Boo boo. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Okay, and fast. Wait. Did I already have all that on? Hello. Strategy. Danger zone. H2, begin takeoff sequence. You're cleared for launch. Let's get to it, boys. This is the situation. Gollum and the other base's squadrons already joined forces and are engaged. You guys will arrive right in the middle of the action. Mage squadron, eliminate all bandits in the current airspace. We have the upper hand, but that doesn't mean we can ease up. Good luck. Page one, Wilco. 
just a small Major town Tom, girl. Your lucky stars. Looking good, Mage Squadron. Keep you are that air current will affect your aircraft Time performance. Time to show the other guys that we get wet wild and do dirty, dirty things. Once you hit one of them, take them up like blue. Don't let them out of your sights even in the clouds. You miss. And you spoke your first hunting season to get you. Mage 2, band it down. Next luck, Rook. Midnight Midnight train Midnight 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 Goes on and on and on. On the train that's waiting. Shadows searching in the light. I'm coming for ya. Dude, this guy is just screwed. Enemy Once the enemy gets behind me, that's your chance to take him out. Roger that. Got him. Our radar shows no sign of bandits. You're in the clear. I haven't even broken a sweat. Ah, I can't shoot my friends down. A rabbit dog would know better. Oh, lovely. Oh, I got hit hard. Oh, no. 
Uh-huh. You missed. I was kind of doing that for the humans, too. I'm really careful for machines, I'm just shooting them down anyway. Good job, Mage 2. We want as many guys out here as possible. 
I'm grateful you're around. Go to, what's your status? Status report. She's a predator. Column 2, get a hold of yourself. Column 2, get away from the enemy. Mage 2, support! Where the fuck is Column 2? Somebody! You don't say. Mage 2, we have you on radar. You uh. Anyways. Unfortunately, the two front offensive was a failure. The aircraft carrier Kestrel 2 was sunk during the attack on Farbanti. Carrier-borne aircraft mistakenly bombed urban areas, and this has turned public opinion in neutral countries against us. Our own forces also suffered heavy losses. If it weren't for a few extraordinary fighters, many of us wouldn't have made it home. The situation is grim. We have precious little time, however. We have to get to the space elevator. Well, look. Uh, sometimes things happen. What can you say? I keep going. Or the metal bronze ace. Got one or more new MiG 29A fulcrums. What the fuck is that? Here he comes. Do -do 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 -do. Mihai's looking worse. Thank God he has his granddaughters here to help him out. They're sisters, 15 and 10. Engaging the enemy in combat so we could use his physiological data to improve the drones had always taken a toll on Mihai's body. But today, he was really showing his age. 
The drones we based on his data were being taken down at a faster rate now compared to when the war began. When Mihai found that out, he insisted on flying to the front lines to see it for himself. Sometimes he could be so stubborn. Hmm. His age wasn't the only thing affecting his health. Over the years, flying at high altitudes for prolonged stretches of time had ravaged and poisoned his body. But he was a man of grit. Today, after 28 years, he saw combat again. If his flight suit still wasn't good enough to protect him, I can't imagine how many Gs he hit today during the battle. As a pilot, he exceeds all our expectations. It's going to take a bit more tweaking before our drones can match his skill. How penal is this penal unit? Lovely. This place is a shithole. Unfortunately, if you took the stink of all the corruption in the world, then corralled it all in one place. I don't think you could ever place, actually that would make an AI a good idea what mimic, the air uh, smells like around here. Any sort of we got all kinds of critters too. Human Everything from flea-ridden guards, rabid dogs, and a mechanic doing stretch for life. I can't forget the rats. Yeah, we got those, and some pilots who got their wings clipped too. One's a great pilot, but a lousy thief. One's a gambler with no luck. And one's an anarchist with no balls. Hmm. Their job here was to rev the engines on the fake runways. The idea was for Arusha's spy satellite to pick up the heat sig. Even though there weren't any real fighters here, it looked like it on their infrared. I bet you're wondering, if Arusha lost the war, how come they still have a spy satellite? Because someone over there was smart enough to train a bunch of computer nerds to hack into half of Osea's satellites. That's how come. Every now and again, I'd try to bust out. And every single time, those damn dogs would drag me right back. When I was in my cell, I'd hear this voice coming from the guards' room. It was the Erujian princess rallying her people on the Erujian national broadcast. All us prisoners had become big fans of hers. You want to hear something funny? The guards were big fans, too. I swear to God, every time she was on the air, they'd turn up the volume on the radio and sit there listening. I could see how someone like her could win the hearts and minds of soldiers and workers alike. When the princess said something, you could tell she meant every word. Lately, she'd been having more fun with her speeches, and that made her seem even more charming. You could say her charm was like a virus. Whenever she'd point out stuff that was wrong with Osea, the prisoners in here went nuts. Hell, if anyone knew how messed up Osea was, it was the prisoners. They'd shout, burn Osea down. No way am I just gonna sit here and rot away in this hellhole. Dark blue. Instead of building fake ass planes to trick Arusha, I'm gonna build one that'll really take off. You can count on that. I mean, probably. Seeing as how she has been working on those her whole life, it seems very possible strategy. that someone could build a functional the plane this will be difficult to from bits and bobs and all sorts of funky but However, we fun. still need to get but swiftly that. to the space elevator no matter Parts. what it takes. Someone there is counting on us. The hero of the Circum-Pacific War and the man who spearheaded the construction of the space elevator. Osea's former president, Mr. Harling. Mr. Harling was inspecting the elevator when the war broke mm -hmm. out. He's been classified as missing since the elevator was taken over by the Erujian forces. However, according to the latest intel, a military officer accompanying Mr. Harling hid him inside the facility. Both are waiting for a chance to escape. Enemy anti-air radar network has been set up around the space elevator. It's likely a large squadron would be detected. We will send a single aircraft through the network and send in a rescue team soon after. A number of anti-air radars have been set up around the space elevator. However, our reconnaissance suggests their network is weakest along the southeastern coast of Selatapura. 
so we can elude the enemy's observation. There are a lot of rain clouds this time of year. Flying through the clouds will enable us to stay hidden from their radar. If you happen to be detected by their radar, we will be forced to abort the mission. The lone pilot who will head up this strategy is you, Trigger. Oh, lovely. After you it's always through, me. Secure the rescue craft's landing zone by taking out the anti-air weapons. Gollum and others will arrive shortly for support. Gollum. Provide escort for take it where, I take it Smeagol is taking backseat on this. Good luck out there, everyone. Eh. Oh, well. So, hmm. I, yeah, I agree. Let's go ahead. Do, 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 do. Can't I buy the rest of it on credit? Let me look at how much money I got right now. Nope. Okay, fuck you guys. I didn't run a plane anyways. F-14 Super Tom Cat. Hmm. Aircraft free. Even coming from that goes there, comes from here. Hmm. Missile, bomb, air to air lock on missile. I mean, air to ground. Thank you. 
Lock on range. Missile sight hybrid. Standard missile flight distance. GRTK firepower. Special bomb lock on speed. You know, I think I'm taking a different path. Yeah, 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 yeah. Machine gun and MGP fire concentration. Interesting. Wait, go back. What's the year cost? 2900. Pulse laser. Anti-air, anti-surface and anti-air high-spec laser capable of firing short bursts can fire at great speeds from long distances. Interesting. Hang on, what's the SR-71 Blackbird do? What you got on ya? The fuck are you? They are Dark Star. PLSL. Then EML. I am torn. Hmm. 
Hmm. Technically, this one is more mobile. This one's faster. Uh, Interceptor that boasts high speeds on a world class scale. It boasts long range air to air missiles loaded with at least avionics as well as the ability to fly at high speeds in order to set missiles, cruise missiles. Hmm. hmm. High speed air to air missile. Hmm. No, let's go for you. Why do we go? Oh, wait, hang on. Alright, now we're going with you. Waiters, why did that sound dirty? I don't know, but who knows? <laughs> Maybe, yeah, go for this. This pump, pump, payload. Oh, god damn, to take. It's not going to take that long, but it feels like it does. Special bomb load limit. Rocket and guided rocket flight speed and firing distance. This is EML firepower. That's what I got right there. Standard missile flight distance. Aircraft durability. Standard missile lock on speed. That's not very useful. Crater missiles. Quick maneuver air to air missiles. Hmm. Enlarges the EML hit zone. Do 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
I think I'll just go for that scope for anyways. Oh, that's already unlocked. Never mind. Fast loading your air missile. Do 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 do. A tap ba da ba da ba ba. A tap ba da ba da ba. Oh, so need to buy that. God damn it. Do 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 Wait, hang on. Don't I have new skin for the MiG-29? Am I able to change it? No, I am not. It's for the MiG-29A, if I recall correctly. Standard missile reload time? No. Homing is better. Missile load limit. Much better. <laughs> Aircraft pitch maneuverability. mission. Continue. Alright, let's see here. Start mission. 
And let's see. Yeah, we'll go for this one. All right, let's go. Aircraft preparations complete. Sortie ASAP. Mm, what are we doing here? All right, I heard this part. If you're spotted, the mission is over. Stay out of enemy radar. Use of weaponry is also strictly forbidden. Okay, you're heading up the Harling rescue mission. The success of this mission depends on you. Good luck. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, excuse me. That's what happens when you're too busy looking at the radar. Stay out of enemy radar. Alright, we your altitude. Use of weaponry is also strictly forbidden. Okay, you're heading up the Harling rescue mission. The success of this mission depends on you. Good luck. Starting to freeze up. I'll start working on the missiles.
Come on, Sam. Cavalry's here. Gold Squadron. Trayer jumped through the fire. Now it's our turn. Understood. Come on. Howdy, howdy. Scorch, hope you're having a fun night tonight. Eliminate the enemy before they can respond. Caution. Caution. Half of the Sam sites are down. Missile. Missile. Sea Goblin will arrive shortly. And I hope you enjoy your lurk. Hey, I was shooting at that. There we go. All anti-air guns destroyed. Start again. The landing zone is secure. Sea Goblin, you are cleared to land. Mm -hmm. Okay, that didn't work. Missile. At all. Mage 2 destroyed the target. Gotta take you out. Come on. Missile. 
Ana. Going down. I'm not supposed to shoot you down with EM, whatever the fuck you want to call it. That's the magnetic launcher. Taking out plenty of them. Turning. What's going on? They're heading to the space up there. 
It's flying at a steady altitude. Who's in control? It's not the Colonel. Mr. Harling's the only one on board. Mother Goose One, respond! Mr. Harling, please respond! We can't protect our objective if it sticks around here. Now's not the time to freak out, Willis. We've still got a job to do, so let's do it. Keep your mind focused. Got some. Mr. Harling, we are not giving up on you. Are approaching Mother Goose One. Let's go, Trigger. Take him down now, Mage Squadron. One minute remaining. Mother Goose One, turn 180 degrees and exit combat airspace. Mother Goose One, Mr. Harlan. Oh my god, Mother Goose One has been shot down. Where'd the missile come from? Mitch Two fired that. It was Ocean. A friendly missile hit him. I'm verifying the situation. Stop speculating. Friendly fire. I saw it. Mother Goose One exploded in air. No one could have survived. Looks like it tried to protect the elevator. Erosian bastards, they just killed a hero. Mitch One, was it Trigger? <sighs> Trigger was the closest. UAVs were crawling all over our objective. I told you to keep a goddamn eye on the hatchling. It must have been a mistake. Arsenal bird is entering. <laughs> all aircraft withdraw immediately. Well, fuck you guys, too. Trigger, you can't fly for a while. You understand why. The operation to rescue former President Harling has failed. Sadly, there is no hope he survived. Trigger, you are suspected of assassinating a former president. There will be an inquiry. There will most probably be a court-martial. Yeah, fuck you guys. You've been awarded the medal, Silence is Golden. The fuck kind of medal is that? Well, let's see what's going on. Bad news for us here at the prison. The enemy fell for our decoy base. With all the fake planes and trucks we had out, it must have looked to them like the Ocean Air Force was about to go on the attack. Day after, uh, you're after, after your... day, they bombed us. Ocean didn't thought. give a damn. We weren't soldiers to them, so go ahead. Bomb us. In their your eyes, disguise we was a little too good worth less than the fake planes in the bunkers. No biggie. While I made fake planes, they had me put together some working ones. Then, some genius at HQ decided we should send it up, so the base looked legit. Thankfully, we had people to crew them. It didn't matter what we were locked up here for anymore. Top brass needed pilots, and criminals were all they had. A crook, a gambler, an anarchist. Just your typical lowlifes. They threw each one of them in a cockpit and sent them up to intercept the enemy's planes. But in the end, it was all just for show. So, up they went, day after day after day. Today they tossed someone new into the mix. Wonder what he did to get sent here. My dad died flying for the Ocean Air Force. When your allies are surrounded, one of the most dangerous missions is giving them cover to retreat. Whoever signed up for that was a real hero. But even more dangerous than that was being the one who had to cover the rear guard's retreat. That was my dad's job. And one time, he called it off. Said it was too late for him. Said anyone else would have done the same. I found that out from a war buddy of his when he came to tell me how my dad died. The next time a retreat happened, my dad volunteered to be in the rear guard. Dumbass. He died all right. No one came to help. The news nearly broke me. Of all the ways to get killed, that's got to be the most pathetic one ever. Am I right? 
There's a rumor going around about another inmate, a guy they brought here a little while ago. Get this, talk in the cell block says he was sent here because he killed Harling, the president of Osea during the last war, remember? He's the one that sent my dad on that suicide mission. He's the reason I had to go live with my grandpa and why me and Gramps started building a supersonic jet. He's the reason I ended up here. Maybe I should give that guy a thank you note for killing him. Nah. God, I hate the smell of this place. It's all fake and lies and bullshit. It reeks. Hmm. Wonder what lies and fake smell like. Africa? All right, guys, I'll let Garlic? you in on some juicy info. The new guy was found guilty by the International Union Peacekeeping Forces Court Martial. Studio Bentoy? He is the murderer of Harling in the flesh. His tack name's Trigger. Now, as of today, he may be attached to the Ocean Air Force Base 444th Squadron. But that is just some symbolic bullshit. It doesn't really matter if he's Harling's murderer or not. <laughs> Every mm -hmm. last one of you has been incarcerated for one reason or another. You cons have an obligation to atone for your crimes. A few of you in the penal unit know how to fly, and HQ needs to plug the deficit in our Air Force. So they proposed sending you guys on a reconnaissance mm -hmm. mission to the Waipolo Mountains. Mm -hmm. But that idea was flat out rejected. Mm -hmm. Nope, you'll be atoning for your crimes right here mm -hmm. at this base. This base is a Projected by who? designed to draw enemy fire. And as members of this base, you'll be taking hits from the enemy. This will allow our forces to safely prepare a counterattack. Incoming! Switch off that alarm. It's just the usual. I thought Zapland was supposed to be an isolated area. Okay. I'm gonna need a few aircraft to scramble. Again? Wonder how many will lose today. Uh, better than solitary. How many can Enemy aircraft detected over the dummy runway. We just need to make it look like we can put up a fight. Some of those piles of junk can at least take off. Let's get the guiltiest cons in the sky first. We'll start with Harling's murderer. We don't expect you to down any bombers. You know what? But what we do want is to make them think that we've got an active base here. God, you guys suck. God, so close. No matter how far, couldn't be much more from the start. Forever trust in who you are And nothing else matters Hmm No, I think that'll do there It's time to get busy convicts proceed with your mission now Doom 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 My other tiger Doom 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 Follow orders, Trigger. Taxi to the runway now. Check your altimeter and wait in front of the runway. Control, would you kindly send me up first? Spare Champ, this is the control tower. You're not cleared for takeoff. Obey orders. Go to hell. All aircraft preparing for takeoff. Watch out for Spare 8. He's forcing a takeoff. I'll take up command. Any objections? That'll get decided in the skies. <laughs> Touche. Trigger your call sign to spare 15. Consider it your prisoner number for the air. Commencing deception and interception. Spare 15, the runway's free. You have permission to take off. Go now. Damn well better have permission. Toss the jump in solitary once he gets back. Spare 8, when you land your ass is grass. Spare 15, take off confirmed. Altitude restriction lifted. Go. So, no missiles 
again. The FCS is locked. Damn. You're good. Let's make this more interesting. Prisoners use nothing without supervision. Not even a pencil. Man, dog. Here comes Harling's murderer. He shot two missiles right between old Harling's eyes. <laughs> Always in the know, aren't you? <laughs> in this war, intel is a life or death matter. Settle down. Excited to have another murderer with you? Yeah! This is Bandog. Spare 15, I'm handling surveillance. The bombers detect a runway coming back for another round. I know it's just a dummy runway. You guys just need to make a lot of noise. Make them think there's fighters at the base. Anyone got a smoke? I'll owe you one. If any of you die, just think of it as you atoning for your crimes. Am I supposed to pass you smoke from in a completely separate plane? Where are you going? Fox 2. I'm on my target. Spare 15, bandit splash. Trigger, keep an eye on your head count. We can compare later. Yeah, I'm gonna never get dressed up real pretty. Radar pinged. Mayor Boy. Incoming hostile group detected. Take care of them. I know. I'm not at high altitude. Immediately believes that I'm the murderer. Follow me. 
I ain't following you, bitch. Come on. And there we go. Right. Stand by for your next sortie. I lost a lot of money for that trigger. Don't forget. I do not care. Spare 15, the runway's free. You have permission to take off. Go now. Woohoo! My blood's boiling! Toss the jump. Keep your eyes side. 
Can you play your game? Love Did I say you could take down the enemy? Throw anyone who disobeys into solitary. Yeah, fuck okay. it. Give love a bad name. Got one or more new emblems. Huh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mihai's granddaughters like to keep to themselves mostly. They were well behaved and possessed a sort of quiet elegance. From time to time, I'd catch myself looking at them, wondering what they were talking about. I'm sure everyone on the base did the same. They were such enthralling creatures. Every night, a crowd would gather around Mihai. They were the men tasked with guarding him in the air. Their jackets all bore the same patch, a relic from a nation that was long gone. Decades ago, during the Age of Expansion, the Kingdom of Arugia absorbed many countries. Theirs was one of them. Mihai asked them, Yet what is a nation? Can we actually see the physical lines that divide one from another? People of my generation can no longer speak the language of our homeland. My grandparents always look sad when they see I have no idea what they're saying to me. I... Uh. Mihai didn't say a word after that. His scarred face betrayed no emotion. He didn't get those scars from flying, though. Mihai was originally from Shilaji. His real name is Mihai Dimitru Margarita Cornelio Leopold Blanca Carol Aeon Ignatius Raphael Maria Nikitas A. Shilaji. Jesus Christ. When he was young, what the hell kind he of was the heir to the Grand Duchy of Shilaji. Then, revolution broke out they need to make people. A print on that. Mihai was betrayed by a close friend who pointed a gun at his face and pulled the trigger. The revolution was successful, but the new country that sprang from it was annexed by the expanding kingdom of Arusia. The Arusian royal family allowed Mihai's family to retain their title and noble standing in the new kingdom. But Mihai surprised them all by signing up for the draft like an ordinary Arusian citizen. He was then accepted into the Air Force Academy by order of the king. Mihai soon became an ace pilot when the royal family was ousted and Arugia became a republic, he continued his service for the new regime. Hmm. Test sites soon flourished. One day, a classmate of Mihai's granddaughter visited. I noticed the rose emblem. She laughed like a princess. And I found out later, she was indeed the daughter of Arugia's new ruler. She Dog. was the connection to the royal bloodline everyone was looking for, the one to restore the monarchy. This new princess was truly a godsend for the Arugian people. If Mihai's granddaughters were like the moon, she was like the sun, around which everything seemed to orbit. Her face was so expressive, it's no wonder the people of this war-torn country instantly felt at ease when they saw her speeches. Dude, even for the NPCs in this game, she looks like a robot. They started singing. The pilots of the support plane smiled, even though they wished their nation were independent from hers. Angelic. I wonder how Mihai felt about all of this. It was my job to research his neurological data, after all. I wish I could figure him out. Whatever his feelings were about losing his homeland, he kept hidden. Even from me. Hmm. Long day. Da -da -do -da -do. Your mission is to atone for your crimes by attracting the enemy's attention. 
First, I want you to head from the base to the desert region of Roca Roja to the northwest. And then second, you will attack the large Arusian base there. We've been unable to verify that base's ability to deal with fighters. You will attack and provoke the enemy into revealing their AA strategy. Get them to fire at you as much as you can. That way, we can confirm where they're firing from. Then it's a case of sending in a regular force to clean them out. Love. For this mission, we prepared a frontline base that can be used for ammo replenishment and aircraft repairs. However, this is not for you guys. Only the regular force has permission to use it. Even if you run out of ammo, don't forget that you're just decoys. You stay out there as targets for the enemy. Hmm. Sure. I really think this guy is awesome. Apparently, maybe. Who knows? Is he? Maybe. Maybe not. Or maybe he's a complete jackass and everybody at the base hates him, including the people who actually work there. Alrighty. Hmm. A lot of ground targets. Hundred and thirty one total. Nice. And here I am sitting on a new plane that does a lot of damage to ground targets. Or that is very good for ground targets. <laughs> Oh yeah, I want to spend money on this. One of new nicknames. Bomb lock on range. All right. Let's quit the mission real quick because I want to go check something. No, so I'm going to go take a mm. oh. But first. Hmm. Fifteen hundred or more enemy surface targets, excluding ships in campaign mode. Certain named aircraft that appears in the campaign mode, complete campaign mode, complete campaign mode, complete campaign mode.
Here I am. take a quick five minute break or probably less than that we're just gonna go ahead and uh get get some stretching and some steps in and y'all do the same if you can or if you're willing to all right great Thank you. 
What's up, people? I am back. So, let's see. Do, 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 do. <laughs> All right. Continue. And. All right, it's all right. Your mission is All right, so I'm going to be taking on a lot of ground troops, or ground targets. So let's see here. There's my new plane. Wait, no, that's not the new one. That's the new one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 
Flow ride. Doom, 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 doom. Take it easy. Doom. Flow ride. Doom. Take it easy. Doom. Flow ride. Take it easy. Slow down. Ah, it doesn't work on bombs. In the mood. Well, at least I'll increase the blast range. Get out of Stand by at the front. Ah, dude, I was not expecting the co pilot who was to be sitting literally right next to me. So, welcome. All aircraft Can't even look at them. We're clear to attack, right? I heard the regular forces were gonna. Hang on, I gotta turn down the music now. Slow ride. Doom down, take it easy. Doom down, doom down. Oh, right, I did, did not turn it down from the break. One, two, there you go. Oh, that'll take care of that. It's just like before. We blew the shit out of everything. Sharp as attack, aren't you, Spare 8? Regular forces can reduce losses if you tenderize the base first. If you can't handle that, just fly and be a target. <laughs> To the broken blue line on your radar, radar to return to base, free the ammo, yada yada, habdi habdi hu. Bippity boppity hu. Gotcha. 
It's no good. Can't get a visual on the target. We should just drop a huge bomb down there. How about giving us the chance to stock up? Trigger. Rocket it hard. Cut the crap. There's work to do. The vehicles have been taken out. Move on to the next target. You're our official fly swatter now, Trigger. Great. Finally have a read on the targets. They're in one hell of a place. I'll take it from here. They've got a lock! No way! Spare 15 bombs away. Interesting. Interesting. More guests on the horizon. Keep up the attack. This is Spare 11. Enemy base dead ahead. Damn it, we can't do this from the sky. We need ground troops. Spare 11, just do your job. Just give us a bomb big enough to blow the area. Spare 
Team launching missile. Missile. What happened? Oh great, did it again. Oh, and still alive, so we're good. I'm gonna start clearing out those stragglers. Well, yeah, of course, because I've got immunity. Because I am the main character. Okay. Missile. Keep away, little guard Missile. dog.
flying straight, you'll get hit. I didn't even get a chance to really get out of the air. You make... No, you're not gonna get lucky. Oh, you are. Never mind. Everyone's dead. Or everyone's... Well, we're done. Okay. You've hit the enemy base enough. Operation is complete. Head back. The bastards who flew off are going to wish they were never born. You guys get a pass. Damn right. He's surprised to be weird through in solitary too. Hey, who wants to bet who goes into solitary? That's what that gambling nut job would say if he was still here. <laughs> Where's your sense of humor, guys? Your buddy's making a joke. Laugh already. You lost claims, but the mission succeeded. However, some of you crossed the return line for supplies and for repairs. This will result in solitary. Take them. And I open pillow tight, it's still You know, that's an extra change right there. My hand, off to never, never land. Alright, well, I think it's time to go ahead and uh, call it for tonight. Because it is, we are at the three hour mark, and also it's getting late. So, go ahead and do that, that. And say howdy. Someone new. Well, hopefully someone new. Let's see here. Who all is on right now? Take my hand. Off to never, never land. Hmm. 
Come on. Keep scrolling. Keep scrolling. Come on, go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Let's see, who do I want to raid? Who do I want to raid? Hmm. You know what? Let's go ahead and raid. Hmm. Man, I've just realized I've got a lot of people on here that I have not raided yet. See what's autumn doing, or how long's it gonna go? Three hours. Hmm. To be honest, I don't know if that's long, too long, or too short, or not. I don't know where that is for him. Yeah. <clears throat> Wait, have I ever rated Benji? But yeah, I have rated Benji. Kinda wanna pick someone I haven't rated before. Dum, dum. Hmm. Wait, hang on, I thought I had someone and they I had someone in mind that I haven't rated before and now I'm not capable of thinking anymore. Who was I thinking of? Right, right, right. I remember now. Right. What you doing? Four. Hmm. He almost. He's almost at four hours. Hmm. Wait, I think I've rated Autumn 2 as well before. You know what? Uh... <laughs> yeah, we're going to raid Thrice. All right, for those of y'all who do not know Thrice, he is currently playing Divinity Original Sin 2, and he is very fun. And also, some of y'all may love his model. I know I love it. I think it is fantastic. So then, let's get in there. Raid. And also, by the way, for those of y'all who are just entering, stick around for just a bit, because I can guarantee you will have find at least one laugh in there somewhere. Now then, there it is. Wait, no, hang on. Okay, now there it is. All right, so now we're heading on out and run away. Now, for everyone who's still here, take care of yourself, have fun, stretch, hydrate, and all that jazz. And most importantly, be kind to others, all right? Deal? Deal. Bye.